Well, hello there, Chicago Bears fans. It is your lovely host here once again to discuss the Chicago Bears and the New York Giants. This game took place yesterday afternoon. Everyone knows already. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this matchup between the Chicago Bears and the New York Giants. Let's begin here. Sucks that you cannot attend any games right now. I guess it all depends where the hell you live. Because due to what's going on around the world. But, like, the Dolphins, Jacksonville, only a few people in Dallas could be attending these games. Lucky people. But anyway, the Bears beat the Giants. The Bears should beat the crap out of the Giants, but I don't know. It's not good. And then Barkley, it is confirmed. He's out for the rest of the year. Torn ACL. A lot of key players from only week two are injured. You know, I don't know how long they're going to be out, but this one's confirmed. It sucks, but that's all part of the game, okay? Probably has something to do with it because we had no preseason, and um, we didn't have a full length of training camp, you know? So, Mitchell did pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, let's see his numbers. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, let's see here. Status. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, here it is. Daniel Jones from the Giants. He is 24 out of 50. Not good, but whatever. 62.5. One interception, four sacks. Uh, Mac attack came up huge. Uh, because he didn't play like... He didn't play at all. Then the guy who got from Dallas, he played good. Um, I don't know. Jones will be the, um, the future of that franchise. Probably not. But you never know. Um... The Bears stopped the running game last week. We did not stop the running game against the Detroit Lions. I don't know why. That's how it is. So, it was a very low scoring game. Kind of boring, I thought. Giants going to come back and win this game. But at the end, it was penalty. But it was against the, the Giants. So, Mitchell, he did pretty good. 18-24. Uh, uh, 64.3 percentage, 190 yards, oh, sorry, a, a buck 90, two TDs, two, two interceptions, but he had four sacks. He's got to eliminate those sacks. I don't trust Mitchell, especially down the stretch. Um, Giants are a very, very um, young team. And this is the first time since 2013 Bears are 2-0 in the beginning of the year. Maybe things are going to be good for the Bears. I don't know. Now we got to play against the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons blew a 20-point lead against the Dallas Cowboys. Do you think the Atlanta Falcons will bounce back? We'll find out. If not, I think it's time for changes. New head coach, Trey Matt Ryan, do something. Matt Ryan, is, I'm, I don't know if he'll be the future of the NFL Hall of Fame. Maybe, maybe not. But um, I actually I prefer having Matt Ryan with the Bears than Mitchell. At least Matt Ryan could freaking sling it. He's not afraid to sling it. Um, Mitchell was just afraid. You know, I know he, he runs, get a couple of yards, but we need a guy who could freaking sling it, especially when it comes down to crunch time, you know? Um, so, oh, another thing, in the, um, one of the running backs, they, they give my contract extension I guess Bears and Robinson are working on a deal to give him a contract extension Bears do not be cheap you know you guys get the money but you guys don't want to spend it on the right players okay a couple years ago you, you give that kind of money or even more to Jay Cutler was he the right player to give him that kind of money no what the hell was that sorry it was a stupid B you see what I have on my screen 
So that was kind of weird. Anyway, um, so Bears gotta travel to Atlanta, Georgia, against the Falcons next Sunday at noonish. So Bears got working on their defense. They gotta work everything. A win is a win, but they should not let the opponent come back in this game. Week one, we were we did not play very good. The Bears didn't play good the f three first quarters at all. And then the fourth quarter, Mitchell just came alive. Everything was clicking for him. Then yesterday, we only blew this game, you know, against the Giants, the scrappy Giants. So last week, we almost, we, we came back and won this game, week one. Week two, we almost blew the lead against the Giants. Isn't that weird how things pan out? Very weird. So, and another thing is, we don't have a good kicker. I wish we had a kicker from Kansas City. This guy kick it for 58 yards. That's insane. Why can we get a kicker like that? Bears, you guys are so cheap on kickers. And the kicker we, we, we have, Eddie, I guess he's out for a while. This kicker's okay, but we need a better kicker. I wish we had a Robbie Gold, but he's with the Niners. Way to go, Bears. Let him go. How stupid. Everyone out there, have a good one. Go Bears for the rest of the season. Hopefully we keep on rowing. And especially against non-division opponents. So, so far we won our one of the division opponents against the Detroit Lions early in the year. You know, week one. Have a good one. Take care. Let me know your comments on this game. And I don't trust Mitchell whatsoever. That's just my opinion. Go Bears. See you guys next week.